Well, the Oscar ceremony is only scheduled for the next 25th of April, but all the film community is already breeding the award season, and for that matter, the Movie Box premiere team presents some of the possible winners. Spike Lee can dream again for some glory after Black Landsman. This year, the man has another masterpiece, and it's poisoned for some awards. It's called The Five Bloods, and it's a Netflix original. In America, the National Board of Review has already given him the best picture of the year stamp. Delroy Lindo, the main actor, should also be on board for an acting nods. After the top awards in Toronto and Venice, Nomadland is still the motion picture to beat. Chloe Zhao's nomadic experience is the natural born favorite so far, and its star and producer, Frances McDormand, is also on board for the Best Actress category. Coming now to streaming and some US selected theaters is this Sandman's favorite, Judas and the Black Messiah, the story of the betrayal of one of the Black Panther's leader. The British actor Daniel Kaluuya is gaining ground for the best supporting actor. Sure thing for the Golden Globes, BAFTA and of course the Oscars is the second directorial effort for Aaron Sorkin. The trial of Chicago 7 is also a strong contender and should enjoy a mass campaign boost from Netflix. Sasha Baron Cohen is tipped for his first relevant acting nominations. Yeah, you really think there's going to be a big audience? Here I am. You're also aware of Minari, the by Liege. Isaac Chung, the winner of Sundance last year, is also one of the films with stronger support by the press. He could repeat the same effect of last year's The Farewell. This tale about the Korean family in America is what the voters want to engage in a conversation about diversity. Also note to Supernova, a British film that impressed the San Sebastian Film Festival last year. It's directed by Harry McQueen and produced by Emily Morgan. It seems that this intimate portrayal of a gay couple fighting dimension is getting a momentum the last few weeks and Stanley Tucci is so amazing that he could fight for nomination in the Best Supporting Actor slot. Anyway, the most bizarre award season is on and it will continue to generate buzz throughout the next weeks. Yeah.